On November 29, 2024, a video released by the Russian state news agency TASS revealed that the Russian National Guard, Roskvardia, had used a drone to destroy a French-made AMX 10P infantry fighting vehicle, IFV, operated by the Ukrainian armed forces in the Kursk region. This marks a significant milestone, confirming the long-speculated delivery of AMX 10P vehicles from France to Ukraine. The incident comes after French journalist Jean-Dominique Merchet reported in February 2023 that France had agreed to send 25 AMX 10P IFVs to Ukraine. While the official confirmation of this delivery had been lacking, this recent attack confirms that these vehicles are now part of Ukraine's military arsenal. However, despite the video evidence, the quality and resolution of the footage make it difficult to independently verify the vehicle's exact identity. The Russian National Guard statement, however, claims the destroyed vehicle was an AMX 10P, relying heavily on the recognition of the vehicle type by the UAV operator who targeted it. The video footage, while significant, shows only a blurry image of the destroyed vehicle, leaving doubts about its exact model. The Russian National Guard's press service reported that the vehicle was immobilized after triggering a mine during a Ukrainian attempt to transfer troops and equipment toward the front lines. Abandoning the vehicle, the Ukrainian personnel sought refuge in a nearby forest, where they were later targeted and eliminated by artillery fire directed by Roskvardia forces. The AMX-10P is a French-designed tracked armored infantry fighting vehicle that was developed by GIT Industries, now Nexter, in the 1970s. Known for its versatility and robustness, the AMX-10P was one of the first vehicles specifically designed to support mechanized infantry. It combines firepower, mobility, and armor to protect troops in combat scenarios. The vehicle is equipped with a 20mm giant M693 F2 automatic cannon mounted in a turret, capable of engaging both ground and aerial targets. Additionally, a 7.62mm coaxial machine gun provides extra firepower. Powered by a 260 horsepower Hispano Suiza HS 115-2 diesel engine, the AMX 10P can achieve a maximum speed of 65 km per hour on roads, with an operational range of around 600 km. The vehicle's all-welded aluminum armor provides protection against small arms fire, shell splinters, and landmines, while its fully amphibious design enables it to travel at 7.2 km per hour in water. This makes it particularly adaptable in various combat environments. The vehicle has a crew of three, commander, gunner, and driver, and can carry up to seven fully equipped infantry soldiers. While the AMX 10P was retired from French service, it continues to serve in several countries, praised for its ability to perform in a wide range of combat scenarios. Its deployment in Ukraine underscores its continued relevance in modern military operations, particularly in the face of Russia's ongoing invasion. The destruction of the AMX 10P marks the first verified use of French supplied armored vehicles in Ukraine, highlighting the significant role of Western military aid in the conflict. France's contribution to Ukraine's defense has been substantial, with the AMX 10P just one part of a broader package of support. In addition to these IFVs, France has provided scalp long range cruise missiles, which enhance Ukraine's ability to strike targets deep behind enemy lines. This commitment was reaffirmed by French President Emmanuel Macron at the NATO summit in Vilnius, underscoring France's role in supporting Ukraine's sovereignty. Furthermore, France has played a crucial part in training Ukrainian forces. The Champagne Task Force, for example, has been preparing a new Ukrainian brigade equipped with French tanks and artillery, reinforcing the country's defensive capabilities. This multifaceted support from France reflects the growing international commitment to Ukraine's defense and its determination to resist Russian aggression. As the conflict continues to evolve, the operational impact of the AMX 10P in Ukraine remains uncertain. The destruction of this vehicle may be just the first of many such incidents, with the vehicle's capabilities and adaptability in the face of Russian forces yet to be fully tested. However, its presence in Ukraine, coupled with other advanced Western military systems, signals a growing reliance on foreign support to counter Russian aggression. With continued military aid from Western nations like France, Ukraine's defense posture will likely strengthen, enabling the country to better resist the ongoing invasion and defend its sovereignty on the global stage. The confirmation of AMX 10P vehicles in Ukraine also serves as a reminder of the significant role that modern armored vehicles play in contemporary conflicts, especially in a war characterized by both conventional battles and asymmetrical tactics. Thank you.